Lithia Subaru of Fresno proudly sponsors tonight's first segment of Eyewitness News. Lithia Subaru of Fresno. Subaru confidence in motion. Now, CBS 47 Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. We do begin with breaking news out of Fresno. A woman is shot on Thanksgiving Day. She was outside when she was hit in the torso. Police say that happened around 6.30 this evening near McKenzie and Jackson. CBS 47's A.J. Cotto joins us live from the latest from the scene with the latest. A.J. Ken, police say that woman was shot once in the upper torso. She was taken here to CRMC. They say she is in stable condition right now. Investigators are still trying to piece together exactly what happened. But take a look. This is what the scene looked like earlier. Now police responded to a shot spotter when they picked up 15 rounds fired near the intersection of McKenzie and Jackson. As police arrived, they saw a vehicle headed southbound on Jackson toward Tulare. That's where the driver waved them down, saying his sister had been shot. She was taken by ambulance here to CRMC. Police say people on scene were not cooperative. What we have been able to get from them so far is that uh, there were several individuals standing uh, of them standing out in the middle of the intersection when the shots rang out. They provided us no suspect information. Now, as you heard, police are still looking for a suspect in this shooting. What we know about the victim is it's a Hispanic female in her early 30s. Her identity is not being released. Detectives were here earlier at the hospital trying to get more information from her. They say it's too soon to know if it's gang-related at this time. Right now, they're looking for any witnesses as well as surveillance video in the area. They're asking anyone who might have any information to give them a call. Live in downtown Fresno, AJ Cotto, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. AJ, thank you much for that. After being closed twice earlier today, the grapevine at Interstate 5 is now back open. Southbound lanes are open and the CHP is escorting vehicles in the northbound lanes. But the CHP and Caltrans is also advising drivers to take it slow and bring a blanket and snacks and water in your car in case you get delayed. Drive slowly wherever you're going and just take it easy. You're going to be on the road with a lot of people. Caltrans is also advising drivers to slow down when there are work crews on the side of the road. Good Thanksgiving to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher. Messy weather today it continues right now. The latest is a small storm that moved through Tulare. It is weekend. It's now bringing rain from Visalia through Woodlake. So let's take a look through our Valley Cam Network, powered by Master Storage 365. This is a view from the Cuya Delta camera in Visalia, where right now you can see raindrops there on the camera lens. As we take a look at current conditions, temperatures are cool. We've got 45 degrees in Visalia and switching over to pinpoint Doppler radar. There is that uh, area of showers. It's now pushing into the foothills past Woodlake and Exeter. We are looking at the grapevine, which got more snow today, but it was the accidents that have caused that from the leftover snow with uh, uh, the troubles for the second closure of the day today. More rain and snow from this system, and then our next one will pour rain on top of snow in areas like Shaver Lake. I'll show you that coming up in your full pinpoint weather forecast. Justin, thank you for that. Meanwhile, the storm did deliver lots of snow up in the mountains. It was a very busy day for snowplow operators. Lots of drivers ran into trouble on Highway 168 up near Shaver Lake. Craig Jenkins has been clearing roads since yesterday. He says too many people aren't prepared for the snow. I see a lot of people going as far as they can go, spinning out and deciding to put the chains on in the middle of the road. And that's not always the safest practice. Jenkins also adds that conditions can change very quickly up in the mountains. Meanwhile, hundreds of local first responders worked on this Thanksgiving Day. It was a way to say thank you for working the holidays. Some Valley residents organized a traditional Thanksgiving meal for them as a way to say thank you to Clovis Police. I get emotional because I don't think we realize these officers are out protecting us so we can have a nice holiday that's safe. And so those words just ate at me. Other first responders like Clovis Fire Department crew spent part of their day delivering Thanksgiving dinners to those in need. Earlier today, about 600 people had a free Thanksgiving meal at the Pavrella House in Fresno. Hundreds turned out for a full Thanksgiving meal. It was a very busy day. The CEO says the need seems to grow every year. It started about 45 years ago with Papa Mike McGarvin feeding people peanut butter sandwiches out of the back of his car. And so this is really at the core of who we are as an organization. We want to feed people that are hungry and we want to serve people who are in need. We received so much from the community. We're very grateful for that. Yeah. 
because that's kind of how we keep going. The Pavarella House says that they need volunteers year-round, not just during the holidays. Also in Fresno, a local businessman was handing out free barbecue meals to those in need today. He gave away the free meals at Olive and Peach. Minute, I'm ready to serve! Woo! Because God is just good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Everybody's home with their families. This is my family out here. People enjoyed tri-tip, ribs, and more. Mr. Ribs says he plans on doing this again for Christmas. And while some were busy eating, others got some early morning exercise. Today was the annual turkey trot in Fresno. There was a 5K run along with a two-mile walk and a virtual run. The race started at 8 o'clock this morning at Woodward Park in Fresno. Some even got dressed up for the event. Get that workout in the morning, get the adrenaline pumping, then you can eat everything inside. <laughs> The race benefits the Central California Food Bank. From exercising to shopping, for Sun Valley residents, Black Friday started early today. And the shopping centers were full with residents taking notice of the big sales going on at Target, Walmart, and other stores. CBS 47's Kirsten Mitchell joins us live at the Best Buy store in Clovis. Kirsten, how are the crowds right now? Well, Ken, the crowds, they've died down some, but there's still a lot of people here looking for those deals. Check it out. You can see a lot of people uh, right now in the electronics section. Of course, those are great deals today. The real go-getters, they were lined up for hours. One man even spent the night outside. You ready to go shopping? Right. Let's go shopping. What do we want to shop for? This was Dave Gilliland last year and him last night, keeping up his Black Friday tradition, driving from Los Ojos to spend the night outside Best Buy. If you have a heater, bring your heater. If you have a comfy chair, bring your comfy chair. He also wore flip-flops. Are your feet cold? No, not really. He finally had company Thursday afternoon with Best Buy opening their doors at 5 p.m. Though lines aren't what they used to be, some, like Samuel Halprin, are still giving it a go. This is actually my first year even attempting Black Friday because of all the videos I've seen of it. But it's like, I was thinking, who would go to Best Buy? But apparently a lot of people go to Best Buy, so. Many Thanksgiving Day shoppers had dinner early. I weigh like five extra pounds, but you know what? We'll live. I burned it off walking here. Over at Target. We expect to see the lines uh, fewer and fewer each year as uh, with the advent of online shopping and now with the, uh, having the, the store pick up. Doorbuster deals lured in some shoppers. I'm pushing and shoving, so that's a good thing. Who said it was worth it. We waited in line forever for this, so we got it. But we got the last one, too. Experts predict Black Friday spending this year will break records as thousands roll into the holiday shopping season a little early. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> And Best Buy, they will close at 1 a.m. tonight and reopen tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Target will open up at 7 a.m. These employees needing some overnight hours to tidy up and get things ready for even more crowds tomorrow. Reporting live in Clovis, Kirsten Mitchell, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Kirsten, thank you much. In Parlier, police are searching for the suspects who broke into a gas station overnight. It was all caught on camera. Police say two masked suspects broke into the store around 1 o'clock in the morning. They smashed the front door and then ransacked the business then got into a vehicle and drove away. Anyone with any information on this crime is asked to contact the Parlier Police Department. And tonight, Fresno police are looking for the gunman who opened fire on a home. This happened near Collins and Tulare. No one fortunately was hurt, but police say they did find five bullet holes on the home. No word yet on any suspects. New at 11, tonight President Trump is flying back to the United States after making a surprise visit to the U.S. troops in Afghanistan. Weijin Jiang has more on the Thanksgiving Day visit. President Trump made his first trip to Afghanistan under the cover of darkness, flying 13 hours to serve Thanksgiving turkey at a dining hall at Bagram Air Base. There's nowhere I'd rather celebrate this Thanksgiving. The trip was Mr. Trump's second to a war zone and was so secretive, even the president of Afghanistan wasn't told until just before Air Force One landed. The two men sat down briefly. The president said to discuss peace talks between the U.S. and the Taliban. Taliban, which once harbored al-Qaeda. The Taliban wants to make a deal. We'll see if they want to make a deal. It's got to be a real deal. In late August, it appeared the two sides were close to reaching a deal to end the war launched there after 9-11. But President Trump abruptly canceled a planned summit after being criticized for offering to host it at Camp David. 
As far as I'm concerned, they're dead. Tonight, questions still linger over President Trump's plan to withdraw troops from Afghanistan. The Pentagon says it has a plan to cut the number of troops from 12,000 to 8,600, but the timeline is unclear. Today, the president would only say this. Many are coming home. The visit came at the end of a week in which Mr. Trump clashed with his own military. Navy Secretary Richard Spencer told CBS News he was fired Sunday for refusing to cancel a military review board for Eddie Gallagher, a Navy SEAL who was convicted for posing with a dead ISIS fighter. Later, President Trump restored Gallagher's rank. Adding to the rocky relationship at a campaign rally on Tuesday, President Trump mentioned Gallagher and two other service members accused of war crimes who he recently pardoned. The president said he stuck up for three warriors against the, quote, deep state, apparently referring to top military leaders who opposed his decision. Weijia Jang, CBS News, West Palm Beach. Meanwhile, North Korea has launched its first missile in a month. It appears to be in an attempt to pressure the U.S. to restart those nuclear talks. The missile landed in the Sea of Japan. Japan's prime minister called it a threat against his nation and the international community. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11 in Santa Barbara County, rain is now helping firefighters who continue to battle the cave fire. Plus, some U.S. border agents keep some deli meat from crossing the U.S. border from Mexico. We'll explain. This news investigates taking you to the story. An inside look into the efforts to help local teens addicted to opioids. They don't know what they're buying or who they're buying it from. The new developments that could bring a five-year-old cold case to a close. This person was innocent and taken from his family for absolutely no reason. And revealing the consequences of making threats at Valley Schools. Are you looking at felony conviction which goes with you for the rest of your life? Eyewitness News investigates on CBS 47 Eyewitness News. All right, let's get going. I want to make sure oh. I ordered it for everyone. I think I have the exact amount. We got the biggest Subaru to help bring our family together. Just resting my eyes. Even though we're generations apart. What a day. I just love those kids. Presenting the three-row Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Subaru of Fresno, 5212 North Blackstone, where every new Subaru comes with complimentary maintenance included. Do you know what your child is doing online? We're providing cyber-safe resources and information. Go to yourcentervalley.com now to see the CBS 47 Cyber-Safe Parent Program. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Les Schwab Tires. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. U.S. Border Patrol agents have seized over 150 pounds of deli meat coming into the United States from Mexico. The seizure was made in El Paso. The product contained pork, which is illegal because it could potentially contaminate the domestic pork industry. The driver was then released. Heavy rains are helping to put out the wildfire in Santa Barbara County. The cave fire has been burning now for some time. It's burned over 4,000 acres of land so far, threatening homes and triggering evacuations. Officials say the rains help firefighters to get a handle on that blaze. Fire activity is expected to decrease as more rain continues to fall. In the Bay Area, thieves are targeting Salvation Army bell ringers. In the past two weeks, two locations have been robbed. The most recent happened on Tuesday in Concord. A woman was ringing the bell when a man rode up on a bicycle, squirted something in her face, and then took off with the kettle. It's really shocking. I've been doing this uh, for 30 years, 30 Christmases in big cities around America, and this has never happened to me before. Another theft happened in Martinez. The suspect pretended to be a worker with the Salvation Army. He then collected the kettle and took off. Thanksgiving is over and the Christmas shopping season is off to a fast start. And this holiday shopping season, the state of California wants to help small businesses recover from those PG&E power shutoffs last month. Capitol Bureau reporter Ashley Zavala shows us how. After businesses across the state tossed money and time in last month's power shutoff, state leaders are hoping to bring more rings to registers in small shops across California. So the main thing that they needed is and can use is customers. Lenny Mendonca is Governor Gavin Newsom's chief economic advisor. He says this week the state is launching a social media campaign to urge visitors and Californians to shop local. There is every reason to believe that people will 
be out and support their neighbors. It happens in all sorts of time periods whenever a business is challenged as people come together. There's enormous resonance in the brand, which is California, and people appreciate their local businesses. And so what we really want to do is just have people show them a little bit of love. Mendonca says October's power shutoffs didn't have a huge impact on California's overall economy, but says small businesses took big hits. Small businesses in particular generally did not have backup power and also being able to not have revenues for a couple of days in the busy part of the season can be very problematic to many small businesses who don't have the ability to withstand the loss of revenues for that time period. The state does offer grants to help those shops in need. What they really need is people to come and shop. They don't want handouts, they want customers. This weekend, the state will begin sharing the voices of those small businesses all over social media. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. On Sunday, the CHP put out an alert looking for 74-year-old Sandra Young as well as a 9-year-old and a 7-year-old. Today, the CHP announced they have been found safe and sound and that the public's help was instrumental in tracking them down. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, the San Francisco International Auto Show now underway. We have a preview coming up next. We still have a few showers in the South Valley, more snow showers in the mountains, another storm system this weekend, and frosty temperatures tonight. It's all next in your Pinpoint Forecast. Local marching band barred from practicing on their own football field. CBS 47 was on your side and helped them get the access they needed. We're definitely thrilled that you were on our side. See this story and contact us at yourcentralvalley.com. Eyewitness News investigates. Carl's Jr. Well, if it isn't Big Carl, you fixing to sauce me up? Sick those beefy twins on this cheese hound? Scram, Big Mac. Go play with your extra toy bun. The adults are getting meaty. Carl's Jr., you know what you want. America once made a promise to middle-class kids. Kids like Mike Bloomberg. Work hard and you can make good. But Mike knew it was also important to do good. He built a company from scratch, creating 20,000 jobs with quality health care and paid leave. In the shadow of 9-11, Mike is elected mayor of a shaken city. He rebuilds, creating 400,000 new jobs to help the struggling middle class, improving care and safety for seniors, and raising teacher pay and graduation rates. After being mayor, Mike takes on new challenges, helping cities across the nation deliver for the middle class, providing scholarships for college, driving innovations in job training, helping pass gun safety laws, and supporting efforts to combat climate change. Now, Mike is running for president to beat Trump and have the wealthy pay their fair share to build an economy that works for everyone. Mike Bloomberg for president. I'm Mike Bloomberg and I approve this message. The push-pull or drag at any event is going on now with the Farney Automotive Group. We need all trades and we're paying top dollar. If you owe money, if you're upside down, or if you have to drag it in, we want your car. This event runs now till December 2nd. Before you go anywhere, come get our trade value first. Come to any of our stores, Toyota of Selma, Farney Ford, or Farney Buick GMC, where buyers are on site. Whether you buy from us or not, we want your car. Ten days only. Don't miss our push-pull or drag at any event. Only at the Farney Automotive Group. Drive a little, save a lot. Carl's Jr. They call you really big Carl. Must be those triple sauce meat heaps. How about you cloak me in cheese? Break me in a three-piece patty suit like a beef tycoon. Carl's Jr., you know what you want. This segment of Eyewitness News is brought to you by Nissan. Now, your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. Happy Thanksgiving to you. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher. More rain, more snow today. This is a time lapse from Meadow Lakes. This is the camera that points off to the east to Kaiser Peak. So Sierra National Forest there in the background covered with fresh snow. The problem is our next big storm system comes this weekend, it's going to be warmer and warm enough to take a lot of this snow that's freshly on the ground and just wash it away with an inch or two inches of rain. Places like Shaver Lake, particularly affected because of its medium elevation. Through the past couple days, we've been looking at snow levels that have been in the 2,000 foot range. And they're going to jump back up to the 7,000 foot range as we go into Sunday this weekend. Rain so far in Fresno, now closer to a half inch. Lamore just boosted to 65 one hundredths in Mariposa, 
now over an inch and in Yosemite, more than two inches. Snow still falling in places like Shaver and Huntington Lake. We're watching that snow level stay pretty steady until we get to uh, later on through the weekend this weekend. This is what's left of a small thunderstorm that moved through Tulare and crossed the 99 more than an hour ago. It's been slowly moving into the foothills here. Exeter getting some heavier rain right now, but as we zoom out, you can see that the rest of the valley is fairly sparse at this hour. Expecting a little more accumulation from this last storm system, but the winter storm warning actually ends at four in the morning. It'll be replaced by a winter storm watch for this next system. Not as cold, but still another good rainmaker and very high level snowmaker. You can see that strong cold front come on shore as we go through the day later on on Saturday and then Sunday. Because of the higher snow levels, this is going to make things even messier than they have been, I think, over the past couple days. And taking a look at the rest of the week, we have even more moisture headed our way. So the precipitation forecast looks like this. On the left side of the slash, the little precipitation, we still have to come. Not a lot here in the valley, but as we go onto the right side of the uh, uh, each city here, you're looking at the precipitation that we're going to see come this weekend. And this changes things because of the warmer temperatures. If you're in Shaver or North Fork or even areas that are up from Oakhurst, you're going to see lots of liquid precipitation on top of that frozen precipitation, at least what hasn't melted already. Solar forecast showing the decrease in electric generation because of the change in uh, sky conditions. We're not seeing a lot of sun lately. Pollen forecast is low from Dr. Ama Minion and the Allergy Institute. And freezing temperatures tonight in some spots. Chow Chill, probably one of the coolest places, down to 31 degrees. It'll be below brief, uh, below freezing just briefly through the overnight tonight. And many areas, although they will get cool and very close to frosty conditions, conditions might not be enough to damage plants. So if you live in one of those lower areas that tends to drop a little bit cooler, might be a good idea to uh, cover them up and uh, help them out. In the mountains, of course, we've seen cooler temperatures and we're still going to see some chilly temperatures through the night tonight. Tomorrow night, another cool one. But as we go through the rest of the weekend ahead, temperatures will be warmer and that puts rain into the mix here with those snow levels increasing to the 7,000 foot range and temperatures above freezing in places like Shaver Lake. Your valley forecast has rain in the forecast. Just a few sprinkles left to go through this system. The next one hitting tomorrow night and we could see wet weather through nearly the entire week ahead. Wow. We need the rain. It's we good do. To see. We're going to get quite a bit. Okay. Well, coming up next uh, in San Francisco, the International Auto Show is in town. Fords, Fiats, and Ferraris are some of the manufacturers showing off their new models. They're also catching the eye of a local CHP officer. Did you see any of these cars on the road sometimes? Uh, once in a while, we see these really high-end cars on the road. Yeah. And when you, do they draw your attention? Uh, a beautiful car does draw my attention. Uh, the star of the show is the new Corvette C8. Those are nice looking cars there. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up next in sports, uh, a big win for Josh Allen and company on Thanksgiving Day. Andrew Martin is next in Sports Central. Enroll at Paul Mitchell, the school Fresno. Your dream can come true sooner than you think. Become a hairstylist now at Paul Mitchell, the school Fresno. For more information on this business, go to yourcentralvalley.com and click on Central Valley Local. Rush in for the final days of Toyota's Operation Black Friday. It's your last chance for 1750 total cash back on the Adventure Ready RAV4. Hurry, Toyota's Operation Black Friday ends Monday. Toyota, let's go places. All right, let's get going. We got the biggest Subaru to help bring our family together. Just resting my eyes. Even though we're generations apart. What a day. I just love those kids. Presenting the three-row Subaru Ascent. Love is now bigger than ever. Subaru of Fresno, 5212 North Blackstone, where every new Subaru comes with complimentary maintenance included. Hey, it's your Sandman here. Down here. I bet you didn't know getting rid of your old mattress was so easy. Your retailer can pick it up when they deliver your new one. 
Drop it off at a participating Buy Buy Mattress location or contact your city about curbside pickup. Then your old mattress may be recycled into lots of new, useful things. It's like a big old swipe right for the earth. Visit BuyBuyMattress.com for details. Wall Street banks took advantage of millions of Americans during the recession. So my wife, Kat, and I took action. We started a nonprofit community bank with a simple theory. Give people a fair deal and real economic power. Invest in the community, in businesses owned by women and people of color, in affordable housing. The difference between words and actions matters. That's a lesson politicians in Washington could use right now. I'm Tom Steyer, and I approve this message. Hurry in for the final days of Toyota's Operation Black Friday. This is your last chance to get an amazing 0% APR for 60 months or get 2,500 cash back on Highlander. Toyota's Operation Black Friday ends Monday. Toyota, let's go places. Now your CentralValley.com pros who know. Cellular therapy uses your own platelets and stem cells to regrow hair follicles and treat hair loss. Call Nadj Medical Clinic today for an appointment. For more expert advice, go to yourcentralvalley.com slash pros who know. CBS 47 invites you to the Jingle Bell Run. Register online today. Now, Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. I definitely have to have peach cobbler. Homemade peach cobbler is my go-to. That's, that's really it. Uh, apple pie, big apple pie guy. I'm a really, I'm a sweets guy, so dessert is, is huge for me. The collard greens, the, uh, the uh, baked mac and cheese, the, um, the candy yams. My, my favorite is cornbread, though. Cornbread is my favorite. I can never go wrong with cornbread. Everything, like literally everything. So I'm going to go with the mac and cheese and the yams for this Thanksgiving. Yeah. That all sounds good. Ask Josh Allen what he wants for Thanksgiving, and he'll tell you a turkey leg. That's what you get when your NFL team wins on this particular day, and you're the reason for that win. Let's go to Dallas, where the 8-3 Bills visited the Cowboys. You saw that game right here on CBS 47. Buffalo down 7-0 in the second when Josh Allen finds Cole Beasley for a 25-yard touchdown. That tied the game. Later in the second, look at Allen's toughness. On fourth and one, he fumbles the ball, picks it up, and pushes forward for the first down. Third quarter, Josh Allen using his legs. He runs for a 15-yard touchdown. Bills win the game 26-15. They're 9-3. Allen got that turkey leg from reporter Tracy Wolfson after the game. Here's what the Fireball native did today. He was 19 of 24. Oh. For, excuse me, 19 of 24 passing for 231 yards. He ran for 43 yards, two total touchdowns, one passing, one rushing. So we know what he's thankful for. What about some Bulldogs? What are they thankful for? I'm thankful for having the opportunity to, to be a Fresno State Bulldog, to be able to put on this jersey, the same jersey my dad put on, to be able to just these guys taking me in and Coach Tepper taking a chance on a D2 kid. I'm, I'm thankful for all, thankful for it all. I'm just thankful for all my teammates, you know what I mean? Just everything that they've taught me and uh, just coming into this year, not really knowing how to be a leader, they've definitely taught me how to be a leader. Man, I'm thankful that I got to play this season. I made it in all my games. I made it through the end of the year without a gruesome injury. Um, just thankful to be here and able to play the game. You know, I'm thankful for every the things that everybody's thankful for. The family, you know, in our basketball family, my immediate family. I'm thankful for the job that we have and be a Bulldog. These 12 high school teams are thankful they're playing tomorrow. We've reached the Valley Championships. Central will take on Buchanan in D1. Memorial against Tulare Western in D2. Central Valley Christian at Bakersfield Christian in D3. Washington Union hosting Selma in D4. D5, Carruthers against Dos Palos. And Arosi visits Bishop in D6. We've got you covered on CBS 47 sidelines tomorrow night. Two other NFL games today. Can yep. Saints beat the Falcons 26-18? Bears beat the Lions 24-20. Good stuff, as always. Thanks, Andrew. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, the winter storm brought some snow and some fun for some dogs in the Southland. We'll show you more. This holiday season, visit your Acura dealer today for attractive offers on the Acura MDX. Don't miss this event going on now. <clears throat> and now for the fun stuff. Driving down the open highway on a motorcycle can be exhilarating, and it can be dangerous. I've been representing injured bikers my entire career. You know my record. Call me. It's just that easy. Call 1-877-DUNYON.
There is something out there. Something blowing in the wind. <laughs> it's just cash. <laughs> Tachi Palace is giving away up to $3 million in the whirlwind of millions. Play with your Premier Club card and earn entries every day for a spin in the wind. Ten winners every Friday grab for their share of up to $30,000. And each month, somebody takes home a grand prize of up to $20,000. The Whirlwind of Millions, only at the Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino. Oh, yeah! The After Thanksgiving Sale. Save up to 30% off throughout the store. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. All around us, news is happening. And when news breaks, you have questions. CBS 47 works to get you answers. Investigating the issues you care about. To be your voice. To be your eyewitness. And to make sense of it all. Every night. Burrow and Emmy Award winning Eyewitness News investigates. With Ken Malloy and Catherine Herr. On CBS 47. Eyewitness News. And keep your family moving. CBS 47 and our partners are renewing this SUV and giving it away to one deserving family during the Renew a Ride giveaway. We've made a difference for these families. So tell us why you should win at yourcentralvalley.com now through December 16th. CBS 47, let's be a Nissan Hyundai Genesis of Fresno, and our partners will keep you moving. For CBS 47 Renew a Ride, enter online now for your chance to win. This holiday season, visit your Acura dealer today for attractive offers on the Acura MDX. Don't miss this event going on now. <clears throat> and now, for the fun stuff. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Coming up on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, tonight's guests include Helen Moran and Ian McKellen. We're going to see such warm rain with this next system this weekend that it's going to pour water on top of that snow in many places like Shaver and Hume Lake. Yeah. So that's sad yeah. to say because it's just going to kind of make it a mess where it's so picturesque right. right now. But you were telling us earlier that we've got more systems coming our way. Are they going to be equally warm or are they going to be cold? They do still? look equally warm. Okay. We are looking at frosty temperatures tonight in the right. valley and then a little bit cooler tomorrow night, but we won't return to these temperatures anytime soon. But there will be more rain soon. Okay. Sounds promising for some, I guess. That'll do it for this edition of Eyewitness News at 11. CBS 47 Eyewitness News is on air, online, and on the go. Take Eyewitness News with you and share your stories with us on Facebook, Twitter, and on yourcentralvalley.com. With Black Friday savings all month long, now is the best time to buy at Lithia Nissan of Fresno. With four IIHS top safety pick vehicles to choose from, you'll get a great deal on a Nissan with intelligent safety features. You can drive safe and save with prices like these. Right now, you can lease a 2019 Sentra for only $99 a month plus tax. And with our deal and a meal program, getting a car and lunch is as easy as one, two, three. Hurry in and save at Lithia Nissan of Fresno today. Shop, save, done. The secret is out. Scepter & Sash has the brands you love. Authentic luxury from your favorite designers. Classics to vintage finds. Always authentic, guaranteed. Scepter & Sash, Cedar & Shepherd. I got 50% off everything. At Central Valley Honda Dealers, 14 days of Black Friday. Get door busting deals without busting anything at all on Civic and more. See your Central Valley Honda dealer. This holiday season, make the most of your road home.